You know what, Keith? 30 degrees today felt really nice. Yeah, it's true. That's sad. It is. <laughs> That's really sad. No, I know. Both things are true. Um, it did feel good. And actually, tomorrow, 40 to 45. Okay. And even Sunday, first half of the day is good. And then we've got the storm that we've been... Did we start talking about this last week? I feel like I feel it was like pretty early that, that yeah. we flagged this. So we'll get to the details here finally. We had a broad picture for a while. Average high 41, eh, not quite there. But you know what? Amanda's right. 38 and sunny today felt pretty good. 30 in Bangor, 25 in Rangeley. I was checking out some of the webcams and skiing looks great. A lot of spots are just full out open uh, with natural snowpack, which is not super typical this time of the year. All right, where's our storm system? Hasn't formed yet. It's one of those moments where you realize how good computer models are. We were talking about this since last week. Storm still hasn't formed. Lee side low will meet up with the moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and that will combine into our storm system for Sunday night, Monday. Until then, it's quiet. Tonight, it actually starts off cold initially and then we level out and warm up through the second half of the evening. I'm not sure if this model's overdoing the clouds. I think it is a little bit. We'll see some peaks of sunshine, more clouds certainly than the last few days, 40 to 45 for most of us, mid to upper 30s in the mountains, pleasant enough. And then here we are on Sunday, a lot of clouds, upper 40s, low 50s, and then showers try to race in. This seems a little fast to me, but I will say models moved up a little bit. So there's a possibility we'll see showers work in right before sunset over southern and western Maine. And then it gets pretty nasty overnight Sunday into early Monday as this front tries to drag itself through with periods of heavy rain and strong winds. Those will often correspond with each other and just a little back end snow here as it comes through. This is Monday morning, 6 a.m. 61 maybe, but <laughs> go outside and see if you can enjoy that very much. The winds are gonna be quite strong. So here's been the issue. Surface wind projections on models are usually way out of whack, typically too high. So you have to figure out how much of that is going to mix down to the surface. I think this model is doing a pretty good at job with it. So here we are Monday morning, 3 a.m. You're sleeping, or you should be, I guess. Winds 30 to 35 miles an hour. These are gusts, not sustained. They turn due south around 40 to 45 miles an hour here. This is 5 o'clock in the morning. This is likely near the peak of it for southern Maine. Look how quickly that cuts off from 45 miles an hour to 19 miles an hour. And then down east Maine gets into the heavier stuff between, say, 7 and 9 a.m. And they're likely to see the strongest wind gust, which I think will be between 55 and 60, maybe up to 65. I don't think there'll be too many of those though. Uh, and then this is out of here quickly by Monday afternoon. So this should be enough for at least scattered power outages. Oh, I didn't want the map to move that way. Um, power outage is just about here. You have to imagine that I'll fix it for the next one. But over southern Maine, uh, the mid coast and down east Maine, not too far inland though, as we'll have an inversion there, which is hard to break for winds. On top of that, and I know I'm sorry, we're kind of running out of time here. We're going to see a lot of rain, too. I'm not sure about these three inch amounts, but two inches, two and a half is starting to be more what the models are putting out. If that combines with the foothills with snowpack, we will have some flooding there. So at the end of the day, what are we talking about here? I still think we're in that probably 50 to 100,000 outage zone. Um, I know that CMP is uh, preparing for more than that. so. We'll keep an eye on that part of it, but certainly if you've got a generator you can tune up, I would do that along the coast. Inland, I don't think it's as big a deal at all, just kind of a, a breezy, windy day. Okay. Mm. Lot there. Good to know. Yeah. Yeah, and you're right about the rain in the snowpack. That'll be a tricky combination. Yeah, if somewhere. we get two and a half or three inches of rain along the coast, I think it'll be fine. If we get that two and a half, three, Bethel, right. that area, yeah. then we've got a bit of a problem. Yeah. All right, Keith, thank you.